beautiful day to get outside for a walk or to run some last minute errands on this holiday weekend. This video from weather authority meteorologist Josh Kozlowski shows the view of him getting out and doing some fun rollerblading today. <laughs> Let's send you right on over to Josh Kozlowski. He joins us on the weather deck. Josh, perfect day for rollerblading. I will definitely say that myself. <laughs> yeah, it, it was a good, I just had to go out and do it, Allura. I had to kind of live and practice what I've been preaching and kind of living in the moment for the weekend weather being so nice. I saw a lot of folks out there walking, walking their dogs, bicycling, and also some fellow rollerbladers as well. As we take a look at the time frame going forward here this weekend, I think Mother Nature is going to copy and paste today's weather and drop it off for tomorrow again. But beyond that, you know, the seasons, are we going to be skipping spring? We felt very cold last night. We had some frost around. And now in the extended forecast, we're going to be talking about temperatures warming up well above average. Let's talk about tonight, though. First, another night like last night, mainly clear and cold. You're probably still going to need the heat on like last night and earlier this morning. For tomorrow, Easter Sunday, those that are celebrating, if you're going to an early mass or service, uh, be prepared. It's going to be cold in the morning. Lows will once again be in the 20s. And then for the afternoon time, not going to be as chilly as today's 40s. Looks like a few degrees warmer, so a nice day to take a walk outside. Enjoy the weather once again. The winds will be light. Wind chills pretty much non-existent. Later next week, we don't have any rain in the forecast, but it will be feeling more like summer, especially the second half of the week. And you might have to turn your air conditioning on, at least maybe in your car while you're driving. And some folks may actually do it at their house or apartment. We will see. Right now, air temperature 47 here in Syracuse, 45 in Ithaca, 50 on Elmira. 40 is pretty much for everybody except Watertown and Saranac Lake in the 30s. Live triple Doppler brought to you by Falso service experts. No showers, no snow going on at this time. A couple of light blips on radar up to our north and west, but this more uh, Virga or drying up in the atmosphere. You can see that kind of right here. Little mini system, just some clouds. High pressure that will be with us pretty much for tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday, all of next week, keeping our weather drier than average and warmer than average. Look at these temperatures across the middle of the part of the country. 72 Oklahoma City, 73 Dallas, 68 Kansas City. So yes, these temperatures sound really, really nice, right? Well, you just got to be patient. We will get these temperatures are heading our way later in the week. Futurecast overnight low temperature will be down in the 20s once again. So a chilly start to your Easter Sunday holiday. And then the afternoon will make it up into the 50s. I think low in a few mid 50s should do it. Your forecast low tonight in Syracuse, 27 degrees. Tomorrow high. 54, a cool, somewhat comfortable afternoon, I guess. Next seven days, Monday 65, Tuesday 70, Wednesday 71, Thursday very warm, 78. Friday, I'm calling it hot for April standards, near 80. And next Saturday, high temperatures, 78 degrees. And that 80 on Friday, maybe close to a record high of 83 degrees. Allura?